In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the Feast of the Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. One of the tasks of the angels we learn from the Bible is to praise God. And in this Eucharist, the Church on earth, united to the Church in heaven, joins its voice to the voice of the angels in praising, blessing, and adoring God. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvellous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. War rose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. 
And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they loved not their lives even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the presence of the angels I praise you, O Lord. In the presence of the angels I praise you, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I praise you. I bow down toward your holy temple. In the presence of the angels, I praise you, O Lord. I give thanks to your name for your merciful love and your faithfulness. You have exalted your name and your promise over all. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased the strength of my soul. In the presence of the angels, I praise you, O Lord. All earth's kings shall thank you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, how great is the glory of the Lord. In the presence of the angels, I praise you, O Lord. Alleluia.
angels are then present throughout salvation history. As I say, from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, the Apocalypse. The Bible names but three of these angels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Michael means, who is like unto God? Gabriel means, God has shown himself strong, or might of God. And Raphael means, God heals. The angel is a creature who stands before God, one whose whole being is oriented to God. Their true nature is existing in God's sight and for Him. All three names of the archangel end with the word El, which means God in Hebrew. God is inscribed in their very name, in their very nature. We must be careful not to take the liberty of giving names to other angels, as some people unfortunately do. You hear names mentioned such as Barukel and Uriel. The Church, in two councils, condemned this practice. We know only the names of three angels, Michael, Gabriel and Raphael. The Feast of the Angels reminds us that we are not alone in the struggles of life, that we are not alone in our earthly pilgrimage. God sends his angels to be at our side. This Feast of the Archangels, Michael, Gabriel and Raphael, recalls their fraternal presence at our side. God sends his angels to guard us, to protect us. And Jesus himself speaks of the angels who assist us. And so we can pray to them. The Bible tells us that they are charged with presenting our prayers before God. The angels are also God's spokespersons, his messengers. They bring God to humankind. They proclaim his message of salvation, of liberation, of redemption, of joy, and of the benevolence of God towards us. The earthly liturgy, according to the book of Apocalypse, is a participation in the heavenly liturgy, where the angels and the elect sing the praises of God. In this Eucharistic celebration, we add our voices to those of the angels and the archangels in blessing in praising the highest, the all-good, the all-powerful God. Brothers and sisters, we who are in need place our petitions before the Lord. For the Holy Church of God, that there may be in her midst men and women of prayer whose very lives continually intercede for her needs. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
for the nations of the world that war, civil strife, violence be abolished, and that the hate which causes these horrors be cut from our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For Christians throughout the world that the discord which separates us may dissolve into unity with Christ and with each other. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For missionaries throughout the world, that rejection by their listeners not deter them from their resolve to preach Christ's message. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we, with sincerity of heart, we labour to be your faithful people, true to the gospel calling, in fellowship with our brothers and sisters. Hear the requests which our voices raise, and answer even our unspoken prayers, too strong for words, too deep for tears. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honour we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight 
redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Dabula our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, 
And so we have the confidence to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who cannot at this moment receive Holy Communion sacramentally, we invite you to make this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.